Chicago Center says the November tree Welcome tree friends. Is passing 15,100 feet descending 3,000 feet. Well, you heard it. We're passing 15,000 for 3,000. We're headed to Slider, expecting the Arnav approach, runway 23 into Fort Wayne, Indiana. KFWA, Kilo Foxtrot Whiskey Alpha. Beautiful evening here. Weather's not so good under the deck there, but that's a pretty shot, huh? That is a pretty sky, man. If it doesn't freeze. Gotta love it. Look at that. That's amazing. And we'll continue slowing. We're uh, passing below 13,000. We'll slow to 280. Uh, Fort Wayne, Indiana. Yes. Uh, weather in Fort Wayne right now 59 degrees and cloudy. Chance of showers. Four mile visibility. We get ready to dip into these clouds. Airport elevation is 80. Stand by. It's the approach handoff. 27.2 for OSK. Slow to 270. Approach Cessna November 343 Bravo Whiskey is passing 11,800 feet, descending 3,000 feet. Cessna November 343 Bravo Whiskey approach altimeter 290. Trying to turn down the PFD brightness, a little too bright. That's better. All right, slow to 260 as we close in on 10,000, and then we'll get ready to dip into the clouds here. It's going to get real dark real fast. Okay, 250 at 10,300. Long runway, 11,981 feet. That suits me just fine. Goodbye, moon. It's nice knowing you. So the 240, now 33 miles out, 9,500 feet. We're perfect on our altitude profile. But as I said, <laughs> now it's getting dark. Bye, sky. Nice knowing you. Go to 230 now. Landing gear. Landing gear. Landing gear. Headed to slider. Landing gear. Landing gear. Shallow auto descent rate now. Landing gear. 1500 feet per minute. Landing minutes. gear. I hear rain. Landing gear. Had a hell of a tailwind on this flight. 80 knots. Still do have a tailwind. 40 knots. It's going to bounce us around a little bit. So the 220. I don't know if I said the winds at Fort Wayne, but they are from the south at 14 miles an hour. 28 miles, 7,900 feet. Continue slowly. Keep it at 220 for now, actually. It's an RNAV approach. Hopefully it works. We might actually need it on this one. Been lucky lately. Minimums are 10.53. We'll be exiting right after we land. Still glimpses of sky. Obviously, the sun has long since set. So the 215, 26 miles out, 7,000 feet. Actually, shallow water descent rate to 1,200 feet per minute. Here in the rain, hear it. So the 210. Winds are bouncing around quite a bit. Between 30 and 38 knots. Up and down. Gusty. 24 miles out. 6,400 feet. Shallow to 1,000 feet per minute. Get our landing lights on. Can't see anything. Other than Tree water. Bravo whiskey would like to cancel IFR. <gasps> no, I don't want to cancel IFR. Tree Tree Bravo whiskey requests destination change to Fort Wayne. Oh boy, it's acting crazy again. Tree Tree 
Bravo whiskey is type Cessna C704 miles southeast of India, November 6, Needless to say, you would not cancel IFR in weather like this. Following. It's just being silly. Squawk 1514. 22 miles out and 5,700 feet. Squawk 1514 Cessna Tree Bravo whiskey. Cessna Tree Bravo whiskey radar contact 5 miles east of India, November 6 to 5,700 feet. I'm going to take this right turn now. Roger, Ooh, man, do we need to trust our instruments for this. Okay, start making a right turn. I've done this before. You've seen me do this before where we don't actually fly the entire arc. Which is... We're cleared direct to slider, so there's no reason why we can't. Let's shallow water descent rate even more. 700 feet per minute. We'll slow to... One, nine, or five. As we turn around to get ready to head into the wind. 20 miles out, 4,800 feet. We're just fine. It's a little one, nine, or zero. Taking this pretty cautiously here. Okay. Well. Not much to see, but this is these sorts of approaches are fun because you get to really test your skills or lack thereof, frankly. And we need to establish contact with the tower. Um, not seen it there yet, so we'll just have to wait. Okay, a lot to absorb here. 17 miles, 4,300 feet. We're okay there. Slow to 180. We're going to have our hands full on this one, friends. Let's see where we are here. AQs, AKEWS, -E we want to be at uh, 2,300 feet. So, gives you some idea. And we're currently uh, 80 seconds from AQs. So we'll descend at a thousand, no lower than 2,200 feet, I should say. A thousand feet per minute. Let's do a notch of flaps. Still no sign of Fort Wayne on the airport list? Nope. That's weird, given our proximity to it. Approach course is uh, 230, so we want to intercept it at about a 30 degree angle, so 200. Set 190 for now. This is going to be a very challenging RNAV approach. 14 miles out, just going to keep our airspeed at 180. I really would love for the RNAV to work on this flight. It's ironic, sometimes it works when I don't need it to, and now it'd be really a lot more helpful if it worked. But again, approach course 230. Let's re-engage the nav. There we go, do you see this? CDI lining up. Should begin a right turn. Obviously you can't tell anything about where we are. Shot water descent right now. Modest, 100 feet per minute as we approach AQs, which is now coming up on us. See it right here. I'm going to be at 2,200 feet at AQs, 1,500 feet at Babak. Set minimums. What did I say they were? 1,100. We're still descending. A little more than that. Okay, we are lined up again. Zoom in on our MFD. Oof, man, oh man, this is a tense one. Down to five. Slow to one, seven, zero. Let's put our gear down. And another notch of flaps. And we're gonna slow to our approach speed. Very windy. Slow to 150. 1700 feet AGL. There's the airport. Not getting any help from the RNAV though, regrettably. 
6.4 miles out, 2,500 feet. I want to be at about uh, 15, about uh, eh, rough math, uh, about 2,300 feet. Oh, look, we do have the airport in sight. Thank goodness. Oof, that makes my life a lot easier. Okay, full flaps. 135 is our approach speed. 1500 AGL. Not seeing any RNAV help yet, but again, well, actually, I don't have the airport in sight, I just have the ground in sight. Five miles out, 2100 feet. Shallow outer descent rate yet again. Gears down, full flaps, landing lights on. Your speed's uncomfortably low. That crazy, constantly shifting winds, gusty winds are messing with our knots indicated. No help from the RNAV. 1,200 feet AGL, 4.2 miles out. Oh my goodness, I wish I could see the airport. Shit. Looks like we're not going to get any RNAV help. 3.8. Ooh, this is turning out to be one of the most challenging, more challenging landings I've had lately. 3.4. Runway not in sight. RNAV now coming up. RNAV now coming up. Activate EPPR. I think I got the rabbit. There it is. Try to... Auto throttle, disconnected. One mile final. Tower Cessna November 343 Bravo Whiskey is three miles northeast, 1,700 feet with echo to land. <laughs> Better late than never. Cessna November 343 Bravo Whiskey Tower. Altimeter 29 or decimal 8, 7, when 206 at 24. Fly straight in runway 23. I'll take it. Autopilot. Cessna well. 3 Bravo Whiskey, follow the Cessna C700 on final. There's With another one on final? Clear to land runway two tree. Autopilot. A little bit high. The tree bottle, whiskey, go around. Yeah, I'm not going around, pal. I think I'm gonna do this again, you're nuts. Definitely came in a little bit high on that one, but our, we're good now, we're good, we're good. I'm looking at our PFD. Thank God for the 12,000 foot long runway. Man, that was tense. Spoilers up, reversers on. I can't exit quite yet there, Cochise. Wow, that was a really tense one. Oh, wow. That was tense. I don't know where the exit is. Looks like it's down runway a little bit. Wow. That was a lot more tense than I was expecting. <laughs> I just thought it'd be a nice, pleasant little flight. I don't know why we canceled IFR. That was weird. But anyway, I'll deal with it. It's obviously raining. Is here my exit on the right? There's my stripe. I got it. Okay. Well, that was rude. All right. Well, we're safe in Fort Wayne, Indiana now after a very high stress approach and landing. My goodness. Let's see if I can contact ground after they kick me off the frequency. Contact ground. Parking. Ground Local time, 5.47 p.m. Boilers. Laps. Taxi light on, pulse lights off. Taxiing to General Aviation Parking using Taxiway Bravo Cross Runway Niner Bravo Cessna. All right, let's Bravo go. Whiskey. Wow, that was 
very nerve-wracking. Never did go have the glide path, but at least I was getting valuable information in terms of our glide path, even if it didn't grab it. I was still receiving that valuable information on uh, on the PFD, so that really helped. Yeah, I wanted to get a flight in today and then if possible, get a flight in tomorrow before, I think there's a big update coming, maybe even come out tomorrow. Um, but I, I figured if, if I get locked out of the sim because of whatever issues or whatever, I'd rather be stuck in, in Kentucky so then I can go on a bourbon tour. Looks like it did finally grab the glide path. Look, GP's on. I'll have to watch the video in terms of when it grabbed it. But anyway, that was uh, extremely exciting and tense. Really tense. Just these instrument approaches are so much more challenging, especially non-precision. In bad weather and poor visibility. There's our parking space, right off to the left. Oh man, oh I forgot to stop the timer. Do that once we park. Our ongoing 50 state tour continues. That's a heck of a left turn they want us to make there, isn't it? Yowzers. This thing doesn't exactly turn on a dime there, fellas. Isn't too bad. I don't know if we're going to have stripes or not. Ooh, there's a plane. Don't want to crash into him or them. Two planes. It's a big airport. This is not a little podunk airport. I don't know if we'll get flashlight help or not. I don't know. It looks like it's raining pretty steadily. You see anybody? Any help? I don't see any flat. Oh! oh. Can't tell. Thought I saw somebody off to the right. Good grief. They're so sloppy. I can't. How am I supposed to make that turn? Good grief, fellas. Now, this is the ultimate U-turn for this bird. Try not to clip this. is going to be a challenge, guys. Let's see if we got any visual on him. There he is, yeah. It's going to have to do, guys. I'm sorry. Well, that ended up actually being okay. Very good. Okay. Just to kill that right engine. Timer. Well, it was considerably less than 45 minutes, but we had a great tailwind, as I mentioned. That helped. All right, anti-ice equipment's deactivated. Lights. Take 
Take one last look outside. There she is. Not exactly <laughs> a perfect job parking, but as well as could be expected given their limited help. You can see the moon, but it's also raining. Anyway, let's kill the left engine. Welcome to Fort Wayne, Indiana. Logbook screen. There we go. KSPI Springfield, Illinois to KFWA Fort Wayne, Indiana. 37 minute, 31 second flight. Have a good day, everybody.